Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I already recorded this entire Divine Masculine and Feminine reading, and I guess it wasn't recording. And so it was a very solid message that was coming through. I'm going to keep the cards and I'm going to go through the same message, but it will probably be faster because I already pulled these cards. Okay, it's a lot to regurgitate, but here I am. And we've got the masculine and the feminine side, okay? I wanted to tap in and see what lessons both sides are learning. So the masculine has the hermit reversed and the six of wands. What I feel that's going down with the masculine is that they are trying to focus on things that make them feel good on their confidence, but there's a disconnect here. There's a lack of connection to themselves. They're not really able to find the truth within themselves. They might be very isolated. They might be depressed. The hermit reverse to me is like an extreme sense of loneliness, okay? So I feel like they have these moments where they're sitting and they're depressed, but then they're like, you know what? Like, I'm going to focus on what feels right. And a lot of times for masculine, that's their work because that's usually what even had a big part in why they didn't stay with the feminine or part of their mission, right? So they're supposed to be um, gaining confidence as, um, you know, as an adult, being able to provide for themselves and for others and um, being, uh, feeling accomplished and self-sufficient in that way. So they may be appearing to be self-sufficient in some way or successful, but inside there's an emptiness, okay? The feminine here, we've got the star and the moon reverse, which is very different cards, but in a way I feel they're mirroring sort of the same experience where there's a part of them that's very hopeful, there's a part of them that's very connected, there's a part of them that feels like every little thing is going to be all right, but the moon reversed is like, but they're still sitting on, um, I was going to say a field, they're still sitting on a big thing of emotions, they're still processing a lot of pain, they still have things that they're going through they still have things that are bothering them but they're very compartmentalized here okay now what I thought was so interesting I swear to you guys I already did this video and it wasn't recording the whole time was the masculine has intuition and third eye chakra reverse so they're still not having the courage to follow what feels right for them and that's why there's a disconnect here I don't even know if a lot of them have even realized that but there's some aspect of their life and I feel like it comes to the feminine where they're not really honoring themselves and they're not really listening to their intuition their third eye is reversed it's blocked i don't usually take these kind of cards reversed but to me when it came out with intuition and i was already saying that before it came out it's a confirmation so they're not following their intuition here okay now the feminine has firm foundation and crown chakra reversed so i feel like the feminine is working on these things on the outside these ways of being able to survive just like the masculine but there's a mental like disconnect to what she's doing it could be almost this like robotic mode of like survival okay but crown chakra reverse is like there's something still weighing heavily on her mind i feel i'm saying her but it could be him or her now what i find really interesting is that the masculine wants to communicate I can't do this. I have too much to lose. I don't know how to feel. They've blocked their emotions out so much in the sense to just go on with their life that they, they're they not even sure how to feel at this point. But the other thing I feel is that the masculine and the feminine are mirroring each other in the sense where they still know that there's something they need to do intuitively, but they're afraid to rock the boat in their life, okay? I can't do this. I have too much to lose. Could be another relationship. Could be like their sense of like approval from everyone in their life, okay? But they know. They're like, they feel this pressure to do something because as long as they're not doing this, the hermit is reversed, okay? They're just not feeling good within themselves. Now the feminine has... You let me down. I watch your social media. I am recovering. And so, you know, I feel like because the masculine has six of wands, but I can't do this. There's a there's an un, there's an a wavering confidence on both sides because the feminine has you let me down. But yet she's still hopeful. 
your intellect arouses me, which is interesting because we have the crown chakra here, which is like, she's not really getting that intellectual connection with anyone else. And, you know, I feel like a lot of times people think it's the physical connection with the um, counterparts, but I think a lot of it is the same being on the same wavelength and she has she or he has not been able to find that within another masculine energy or whatever you know so that's the thing that she may remember and she has i i am recovering so she's getting better she's taking care of herself she's building a strong foundation but at the same time she's still looking at the masculine social media so there's a part of her now i'm going to say this guys your masculine isn't going to step up and do what he has to do until you stop all of this. Now, I'm not saying when you do stop this, he's going to do it. And I'm not saying that should be your drive. But your drive should be completely recovering, completely feeling good in your life. And that's when someone will come, if it's your masculine, whoever. But you want to be, be the person that you want to attract. If you want to be a courageous, self-sufficient, confident person, right now, you would just attract this person who has a lack of confidence in themselves who can't follow their intuition you guys are mirroring each other they're always going to follow your energy so the best thing you could do to either attract your masculine or to someone else whatever the values are that you want to attract you want someone courageous you want someone who speaks their mind you want someone open-minded you have to be that way you have to let go of these things these attachments because if not, you're going to draw in someone that's still stuck on their ex, okay? Or you're going to draw, you're going to keep your masculine from taking that necessary step that they have to take to follow their intuition. So that's what it is, guys. I just think it's beautiful. At the same time, I think you're exactly where you need to be. I think the feminine knows it's not about just recovering. It's about really just stopping all of this behavior that's preventing them from manifesting the connection that they want. All right, guys, I said it was going to be short because I literally just regurgitated the same thing that I just spoke in another video. That's not anyone else's fault, but it's a lot of energy for me. So thanks for being here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.